Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Montevilla Sewing Center, and today we're talking about the Baby Lock Presto 2. In this video, I'm going to show you how to thread the machine and wind the bobbin. So to start with, when you unthread your machine, make sure your presser lever is up and snip your thread right there by the spool of thread and then pull out the excess. The reason for that is you don't want to have thread going backwards through your machine, building up lint in the tension discs. So remember, snip here, pull out the excess right there. Okay, for bobbin winding, to start with, we're gonna put our spool on here and there's a picture right up here showing you to have your thread coming from, from behind underneath like that. So we're gonna put this on here, put our spool cap on. The spool cap's important to keep the uh, spool from winding, from coming off there. I like to give it a little extra uh, room there to spin. These cross wound spools and tend to, as they empty, tend to want to spin a little bit, so that's fine. Okay, now for bobbin winding, we're using the dotted line. So we're gonna go under here, like this, over here, and then right over here. And everything's numbered, it's really helpful. So you wanna go under this little spring-loaded uh, guide there. Now, there are different ways to set up your bobbin, but I prefer this way because I think it's a little more secure when it gets to the uh, end of, when you're running out of bobbin thread. So I put my thread from inside to outside, right through the hole in the side of the bobbin, and the bobbin is the same on either side. So put this down here, push this this way. Now we're gonna hold the thread tail up like this, press on the pedal, and it starts to wind. Now I'm hanging onto that thread tail until it has made several layers, then snip off the thread tail and keep winding. So I'm gonna only just wind a little bit on here because my project doesn't take very much thread. But if I was going to wind a full bobbin, the wraps of thread would eventually push against this stopper, which would push this away a little bit inside so it wouldn't keep winding. It would keep it from overwinding. So once we're done, pull that back and you can use one of these little things right there to snip off your thread. To put your thread into the machine, I'm gonna take out the other bobbin. There's a diagram here showing you which way the thread should go, but also think of it looking like the letter P. You have the thread tail coming down on the left-hand side. Put that in there like that, put it under this little leaf here, around to the back, and then stop it from spinning while you pull it a little bit. That helps to, it to sink into the tension area of the bobbin that's in the bobbin case. Pull it around, just like the arrow says, to the right, and there's a little blade that cuts it off right there. You don't need to pull up your bobbin thread through the needle plate if you don't want to. Then put the cover on, that part's done. Okay, now let's thread the top. This time, we're following the solid line. The solid line starts out the same way as the dotted line, but then it turns left and goes this way. Again, notice we have the presser foot up. If you have it down, this little cover is shut and you wouldn't be able to thread that part. So this is kind of a good reminder. Put your presser foot up. Come up here and then this thread, have it go all the way back around this way and that helps it get into that take-up lever that's down inside there. You don't even need to see the take-up lever, just have your thread follow that path. Then we come down here. There is a hook right here on the needle bar, a little guide. So you wanna go into that like that. Then up here to seven, everything's numbered, to eight is the cutter, like that. Then we push down on nine, which is the lever for threading your machine. And there it is, it's threaded like magic. Okay, so that is threading your machine. It's ready to sew. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give us a thumbs up. And if you have comments or questions, you can leave those in the area down below. We have lots of other videos on our YouTube channel, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.